for the bigger mega health group, a lot of physicians think that they can't negotiate with them because they're so big and they're so powerful. Is there uh, differences that you see when physicians are negotiating or signing contracts with a private practice or a big health system versus like academics? Yeah, so there's really three buckets, right? There's the academic employers, the large corporate hospital groups, I like to call mega health, and the small private practices. So I like negotiating with smaller private practices because I'm usually negotiating with the decision maker kind of right away, which is nice. We can kind of cut to the chase a bit, say here's what they need to sign this deal or or not, which is really nice. And then for the bigger mega health group, a lot of physicians think that they can't negotiate with them because they're so big and they're so powerful. But actually physicians have the power, like there's way too many jobs open, there's not enough of you. So you can negotiate with mega health. They're willing to give up things. They're not going to give up. They're unlikely to give up the entire non-compete. And they're unlikely to pay you 40% more than the other 10 folks in the group. It has to be within some reason, right? But uh, there are definitely a ton of opportunities to negotiate with mega health. But also with academics as well. Like my biggest fear with a physician taking an academic job is that they're going to be paid maybe a reduced compensation package because it's academic. But then they're going to be worked like they're working for mega health or a fast paced private practice. Seems like it, it usually, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's one of the bigger issues that I see with academics. So you're unlikely to negotiate a big increase in compensation with an academic institution. Like if you're trying to be paid a lot more than the folks that have been there for three decades, that's going to be challenging. It's not impossible. We'll have to see about your situation and what's up. But you can more clearly define the sections about obligations such that they can't take advantage of you. So that's call, call schedule, maybe flex work opportunities, maybe negotiating for more PTO or some sort of enforceable reduced FTE, or just clearly saying, okay, you're paying me this and I'm giving you these things a set amount of work. Uh, and if you want anything more than that, then I guess you either say no, or you have to compensate me more, whatever, whichever one you want. Uh, but that's really the key to negotiating the, the academic position.